I'm guessing you probably have been approached uh, by a scammer, either in a phone call or an email or a text. I, I swear some days I get more calls from scammers than I do from family and friends. So how do you avoid becoming a victim? CBS 2's Michaela Ellich joins us in studio with advice from an expert. Well, whether you're 18 or 80, anyone can be taken in by a clever scam. Today I spoke with a financial crimes detective with Boise Police who sees scams every day. He tells me how you can protect yourself and your money. Last year, people lost $5.8 billion to fraud. We have up to 10 reports of scams a day, and that's with maybe 30% of the people being scammed reporting. The internet makes it so easy for scammers, giving them direct access to you through emails, texts, and social media. And one of the most common is the imposter scam. Is somebody gaining your trust by being somebody else that you would trust and then grooming somebody through psychological manipulation to gain money or use them to send money. They claim to be anyone, a police officer, a relative, even a real estate agent. If you go on Craigslist right now and you're looking for an apartment or a house, that actual apartment is going to be on multiple different spoofed sites that are scammers. Here's another one. The scammer claims to be a potential employer. If you're looking at trying to get a job, what do you do? You put your um, resume out on the internet. Scammers are looking for that. They're going to give you that, that job to work from home, which is usually sending money off. Detective Thorne says scammers target every demographic, but they especially like to go after the most vulnerable, the elderly. They may not be as familiar with the virus scams and things like that. Um, they're more trusting. They just are. They're from the greatest generation and, and they really are. And so they trust what people say and, and so they do fall victim to that. Thorne has a campaign called The Talk that makes people aware of the scams that are out there. It's just the age old conversation that you would have. Every parent has that conversation, the talk, and you have to have it. And the idea is that scams are such a big problem and a people problem that now people have to have that talk, the scam talk. Well, a lot of people who are scammed feel embarrassed or ashamed. And because of that, they won't report the crime. But you are not alone. A lot of people, smart people, also get taken. And Detective Thorne says the only way to stop the scammers is to report them to the Financial Crimes Unit. Live in studio, Michaela Ellich, CBS2 News.